Hello there, my name is Stephen from London Flat Roofing. This video is an in-depth comparison of the cold and warm flat roof construction methods. In this video, I assume you have some knowledge about the systems I am explaining. If not, I suggest you watch Warm Roof Construction Explained and Cold Roof Construction Explained. Links to both these videos are on the screen now. Okay, now let's go and have a look at the two models side by side. I think the first thing you notice about the two models side by side is the warm roof, which is this one on the right, is this much higher, which is about 100 millimetres than what the cold roof is, and the cold roof one is this one on the left. Obviously, that's because of the insulation, rather than being in between the joists, is actually above the decking. As previously stated, that is one of the downsides of the warm flat roof construction. However, the warm roof construction brings us plenty of advantages over the cold roof. One of these advantages is that when we're doing a retrofit roof, we can just lay the insulation directly over the old roof covering. Now, this can only be done if the roof covering is in good condition. But when we can do this, it means that we don't have to open up the roof. And that makes the window opportunity for doing a roof far greater and that makes it a lot of difference on the kind of roof work that we do here in London. What happens is the insulation is just glued over the top of the old roof and then the roofing membrane is glued over the top of that. Now this makes a major difference over the cold roof construction because with the cold roof construction if you've got a retrofit you've got to take the decking off to put the insulation into the roof or you've got to take the ceilings down from inside the roof so you can insert the insulation in between the joists. So realistically, this makes the whole operation more time consuming and more time consuming means more cost involved. And there's another advantage of the warm roof that you don't have this cost. Now I want to take you over and show you these thermal images. I'm not a thermographic analyst. However, my son is a level two thermographic analyst and we do provide a variation of domestic thermal image services. But however, with this equipment around, I, it enables me to uh, grab the camera and use it on certain things that I'm doing to do with flat roofs. All three images are from cold roof constructions. Uh, the first one on the left hand side, you can see the shadows of all the joists uh, going across. You can also see a big black mark in the center where they just haven't fitted the insulation correctly. The second one you can see that there's a large stripe through the center. This is a RSJ and you can see lots of thermal um, bridging going on there. You can also see that the insulation hasn't been fitted up against the, these two lights. Uh, it's been probably been pushed away so that the, the heat from the bulb can disperse. Uh, again, lots of thermal uh, bridging going on there. And on the third image you can see the joists. You can also see between the joists where there is um, insulation and where there's not insulation. Where it's bit big and black it's, there's no insulation. I know we're not talking about walls. If you look at the walls you can see the walls are dry lined and you can see that the dry lining has been stuck onto the walls using adhesive and that is bridging the thermal element of the wall. You can also see there's a problem in the corner where it's very black. Now the reason you've got so many problems here is that the insulation in these roofs has not been put over the top of the roof, i.e. a warm roof construction. The insulation has been put between the joists. That is difficult and the difficulties are shown here. It's the insulation hasn't been fitted well, it hasn't been fitted tight. And because it's put between the joists, you've got thermal bridging. So this tells us that if you put insulation over the top as a continuous quilt or a continuous layer, you will stop more thermal bridging than if you try and put it between. The reason I haven't shown you any photographs here of a warm roof with a quilt over the top is because you won't see any of these problems. You will literally see nothing except for a few shadows of the joists going backward and forward because you will still see with these really sensitive cameras a slight change of temperature but it's so minute. I don't really want to get into uh, the cameras, that's for a, a, another video. Um, but this just gives you an idea, just look how bad some of this thermal bridging is and this is a loss of energy. 
So if we move back over to our two models side by side, you can see the advantage of putting the insulation over the whole roof structure. You can see that it's quite easy to put this on and push it up tight without having to cut in between the joists. And cutting in between the joists means that there's room for error. And what we're trying to do here is make the whole thing easier so there's less room for error. Now, if I just take you over to this cold roof construction model, this concentrate on this joist hanger. If you look at where this joist hanger is, it's close to the plasterboard at the bottom, but it's also close to the roof decking at the same time. So if you look at this thermal imaging uh, picture here, which I took in the summer, you can see the heat being transferred through from the roof above into the roof below. And this heat is going through the shoe that is at the end of the joist. And of course, when this gets cold, this is going to work the other way around and you're going to get lots of heat from the room to the outside. This just wouldn't happen with a warm roof. If you go back and have a look at this model and you look at this joist hanger where it is, it's, it's at the very bottom of the insulation. It's an internal component of the roof and, and you're just not going to get any thermal bridging from it. And this is, the, this is why we like using the warm roof construction. Okay, thank you very much for watching my video. If I can be of any help to you, my name is Stephen from London Flat Roofing. Here on screen now are links to my other videos, some older ones I've done, and to the, to the other two videos, which are part of this video on warm and cold roof construction.